Welcome to Fragments, the ultimate sample library for creating modern percussion sounds. In this video, we'll guide you through the very basics to help you get started. Enjoy! Let's start by taking a quick tour of the Fragments user interface. Fragments consists of three pages, Main, FX, and User. Let's first focus on the main page, which controls the engine. The engine works with three independent step sequencers, each connected to one of the three slots for bass drum, snare drum, or fragments. We start by filling out the three step sequencers with the basic groove. To start the engine playback, press C3 on your keyboard or add the note to your DAW's MIDI event. You can also press D3 to start only the bass drum slot, E3 for the snare, or F3 to trigger only the fragment slot. Right now, we're only hearing wood sounds on each slot. You can easily add or remove colors by simply clicking their icon in the corresponding slot. If more than one color is active, the sounds are layered. For each color, we recorded three bass drum sounds, three snare drum sounds, and 17 fragments. Turn the sound knob to change the samples that the slot uses. You can also spread the sounds being triggered using this slider. Now the engine will alternate randomly across the defined sound pools. Naturally, we included volume sliders and pan knobs for each slot. Panning can also be spread over the whole stereo field using this slider. You may have noticed the density button. Engaging this will add some light notes to the step sequencer when turning the mod wheel. Another interesting feature is the progression knob down here that looks like a die. Activating this will rearrange the steps randomly after each sequencer run. This creates ever-evolving patterns. Of course, we included a MIDI export feature which also remembers all patterns that were created with the progression knob since the engine playback was started. For now, let's have a look at the FX page. Here you'll find several effects modules to shape the tone of this instrument to your liking. For the sake of this video, let's experiment with those effects. Adding a bit of compression will make the percussion stand out more. A bit of reverb on the snare drum and fragments will add more ambience to the drum groove. You can choose between three reverb modules and adjust the decay time. Each slot has a dedicated reverb send knob, as you may not want to reverberate all slots in the same way. Also, how about some dotted eighths to lay on the fragments and a quick slapback to lay on the snare drum? While the sound of the kick drum is already quite good, we could try to add some more bass with the EQ. If you want to get really experimental, activate the filter and choose one of the four modes. Increasing the resonance will result in robotic-like beep sounds reminiscent of a certain robot that you may know. Finally, let's quickly have a look at the user page. Here, you can import your own samples. Just drag a sample from your computer into one of the three slots, and it'll be automatically mapped to the user color. This tutorial ends here. We hope you enjoyed this video and are ready to push your creativity to a new level. For more information, 
please refer to the manual as this video covers only a fragment of all the features.